The mineral property hardness is looking at the resistance of a mineral to being scratched. Now when we're going through and looking at hardness, we have tools that we're going to use to test the hardness of a mineral to see if it is harder or softer than the tool itself. This means we're going to be giving a range to the hardness of the mineral rather than a specific number like you see on Mohs hardness scale for each of our samples. The first tool that we're going to use to test the hardness of a mineral is our fingernail. And when we test with our fingernail, we're looking to see is the mineral harder or softer than a value of 2.5 on Mohs hardness scale because that's what our fingernail is equal to. So if we take a mineral and we try our fingernail on the surface, and it makes a terrible sound, kind of like nails on a chalkboard to some people, and we see that our fingernail is causing a powder to be on the surface of the mineral, and you can see it on my fingernail, we know that our fingernail is harder than the mineral, meaning the mineral's hardness is less than 2.5. If we take a mineral and we scratch our fingernail across it, and we start to say, okay, I, I'm seeing some powder on the surface of the mineral. Is the mineral harder or softer than 2.5? Look at your fingernail. If your fingernail is rough and kind of beat up, what that means is the mineral is harder, your fingernail is softer, and your fingernail is actually coming off on the surface of the mineral. The next tool that we have to test hardness is a copper penny. The copper penny has a hardness of 3.0. So this time we're testing greater or less than 3.0 for hardness. So if we take a mineral and we put the penny and move it along the surface and we see we left a nice dark or a deep scratch mark in the surface of the mineral and we can see the powder coming off on the penny, the mineral has a hardness less than 3.0. If we take a mineral and we rub the penny across the surface, it may leave a mark. And when we look at the mark, it might be kind of metallic color, which is really hard to see on the surface of this mineral, but you see a little bit of discoloration there by my finger. Look at the penny. If where we were rubbing the penny, it looks like fresh new copper, you can see it shining right there, that's telling us that the penny is softer, the mineral is harder, meaning the mineral's hardness is greater than 3.0. The next tool that we have to test for hardness is a metal nail. Now be careful with this one for obvious reasons uh, that you could puncture your skin. Uh, but the metal nail is the last tool that we classify as soft and it has a hardness of 4.5. So when we take the metal nail to a mineral and test it, be careful again because it does have a sharp point, but we push it into the surface and we scratch it back and forth and we will see where we will scratch the mineral again we've turned it to a powder there's a nice deep scratch mark the metal nail is harder than the mineral meaning the mineral is soft it has a hardness less than 4.5 if the mineral is harder than the nail we will try to scratch the surface and instead of getting a white powder we leave a metallic mark on the mineral Again, that means the metal nail is coming off on the mineral. The mineral is harder than 4.5 or greater than 4.5. The last tool that we use to test hardness with is a glass plate. The glass plate is the first tool classified as hard when we get to the tables in our lab. And it has a hardness of 5.5 on Mohs hardness scale. Now, to test hardness with the glass plate, we want to be sure that we do not hold it in our hand and push the mineral into it because we might end up shattering the glass plate and we don't want that to go on our hand. So what we want to do is place the glass plate on the table, hold it in place with a good amount of force, push down with the mineral into the glass plate. Now we may see a small mark, you can very faintly see it on the surface of the glass plate there. If you move your finger across and your fingernail and you don't feel an actual scratch mark, again that's the mineral coming off on the glass plate telling you the mineral is softer or less than 5.5. If the mineral has a hardness greater than 5.5, when we take it to the mineral, the mineral to the glass plate, you should hear that sound, you should see a scratch mark and then your finger and your fingernail in particular should be able to feel that scratch mark in the glass plate. 
This tells you that the mineral has a hardness greater than 5.5. The last hardness that I want you to be aware of, but we will not be testing with, is the streak plate. The streak plate has a hardness of 6.5 on Mohs hardness scale. What this means is that some minerals will scratch the glass plate, but will not scratch the streak plate. And we'll get to what streak is in another video. Uh, by rule of thumb, if the mineral scratches the glass plate, you should ask, is it okay to streak this mineral? Because if the mineral is too hard, as I'll show you with this sample, what you're actually going to be doing when you're thinking you're testing streak is you're actually scratching into and damaging the streak plate. These are the tools and steps to test hardness in minerals.